Hi everybody and welcome back and today I'm going to show you a um, down hairstyle. I got it from a picture that I saw somewhere at some celebrity. I don't really recognize her but you can go on my blog at eastsidemorgan.blogspot.com and you can see her picture there. Um, but basically, um, I hope this lighting is good. If not, I can um, get some more. But um, uh, she has like kind of a center part and it's all the way down. So what I did um, to get my hair ready is I kind of have this like um, wave in my hair anyways. So I just put some um, mousse in my hair and kind of made sure it was a lot like at the roots here and back here and then just blow dried it to get volume and you can see my um, blow drying to get volume video if you want to see more of that. But basically I just gave more of a, of a center part instead of the side swept bang and um, made sure that I got the roots really well and then just kind of let the bottom air dry. I didn't use a brush at all to um, to dry it, just let it dry. Um, just with my fingers or whatever, just so it kind of had, you can see it's like way curlier under there. <coughs> so anyways, um, uh, what I'm going to use is this size barrel curling iron. I don't know what inch, these are so old I can tell you. I'm sure somebody out there knows. So if you know what size barrel this is, just put it in the comments. Um, and so then people can know. Because some people have been asking me what size and I don't really know. Um, no, like three or four, I don't know. <laughs> so this is the size that I'm using for this. Um, okay, the thing that I'm going to start with is um, to just give myself some volume is to just go ahead and just tip this just a little bit. You see how it kind of just lifts it up? And so you want, if you just make a part all the way down, I kind of went like a little bit diagonal like that. And I'm going to turn this light on so you can see better. Um, and just go all the way down and just hold that and just like pull it out like that so you're going to get the volume and you can do it in the back And um, this front piece, I'm just going to use it for volume and then kind of calm it down afterwards. Okay, Maybe one more. Make sure you get it all throughout the roots. So she has it just really loose curls, um, not even really curls, just like piece tendrils or whatever. So I'm just going to take, I have short bangs right now, so this, this look, but I'm just going to like tip this back a little, just go backwards with the curling iron, and just kind of feather it out, I guess you would call it. And so I usually always tip my curling iron backwards. <laughs> so just really, you can do this with your um, straight iron too. I'm just not good with my straight iron. You just want to make really loose pieces. So even if the like bottom is kind of straight, so that's why it's good if you um, start at the top, then this long piece is still straight in there. And just make sure you hold it well enough so that it has some, and then kind of slowly slide it out. Okay, so just like little pieces like that. Kind of like the messy lion hair or something, I don't know. So it's just kind of... The thing that makes it different is the center part and the volume in the middle. So, 
Um, I'm going to keep doing this around my head and then I'll come back for the final. Okay, so um, I've kind of finished up here. Um, with my bangs, I just, again, they're a little shorter. Hers, like, come maybe to here. So I just um, take it and just kind of tip it. You can hold your bangs a little bit longer if you want, just so it kind of feathers out again on this side. And then just go loosely all the way around. And um, for the volume again, I would say do this at the end as well. You can tease it if it's not holding very well. Hey. 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 <laughs> so it just kind of has... Um, a lot of volume right at the at the base here to give it that kind of glamorous feel and then um, I would suggest like just take um, little pieces or like you know random and make them like little sectioned off of everything that you did because you kind of done like big chunky pieces all around so you just kind of do a little sections here and there to kind of piece it. And then um, I have some of my smoothing serum by Victoria's Secret. And you just get a little. And you can also make the sections. So it kind of just make little sections so it's kind of piecey. And the thing that makes it look different is that it's loose and the the center part. It's just a different a different look. And then you can just take your hairspray, spray it in there, and just let it air dry a little bit. So you get lots of good volume. I like most of my volume in the back. So if you want to take your teasing comb and just tease it up, you can. Or just use your fingers a little bit. Depends on how much you want. And if um, some of the pieces get straight through the process, you can just tip them under again. Um, but otherwise, you can just kind of run your fingers through it. And it's just the, um, kind of like a messy, pretty runway hair type look, but it's down. I've been doing a lot of up videos, so this is a good one for um, the next time you want to go out somewhere. So, I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my blog at eastsidemorgan.blogspot.com for a bunch of different tips and tricks. Not just hair, but just all different kinds of things in your life. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.